Andy Ustalu, 21-year-old fighter from Estonia, 177 centimeters tall. This fight takes place at 73 kgs. His record, 46 fights, 33 wins, 13 losses. He is a three-time Estonian Muay Thai champion. He is an Estonian K1 champion. He's a 2016 Helsinki Open champion. And he has fought here at Thai Fight. This is his third fight here at Thai Fight. He is over two. Third time to charm, the charm, possibly. Showing his perseverance. Well, if he is to win, he's gonna have to beat that man right there. Sensatan PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. Originally from Konken province in Thailand. 183 centimeters tall. 172 fights with 137 victories with 30 losses and 5 draws. A former Lump Lumpini Stadium champion, former champion of Thailand, Nezuzu Cup Super Fight 2017 champion at 70 kilograms and also in 2017 when he made his debut for Thai Fight he also became the champion at 70 kilograms as well. Last year, Sensatan had two fights with two victories. Previous to that, he did lose via knockout here at Thai Fight. So he is beatable, we know that. He's a tremendous fighter, of course. But with those rap hands, the card check style, anything can happen here at Thai Fight. We saw Pikes Mooty get dropped tonight. He did eventually go on to win. But it is possible, Adam, it is possible. Absolutely. Yeah, Ustalu, you did mention he fought two times previously here at Thai Fight. He's fought against Kitty. He lost by a second round knockout. And that was in uh, Mung Khan, which is uh, down in Nakhonsi Tamarat. And last year he fought around October time, I believe, in Bang Sen. It's Bash by the Beach, as you called it, I believe. Where he fought. Sutsukorn saw Klimni, and it was a very close fight indeed. He headlined that with Sutsukorn. Went to the judges. Could have gone either way. Really could have done. Sutsukorn got the nod. But uh, yeah, Oslo looked tremendous in that one. Former Estonian Thai, uh, Muay Thai champion. Now pit his wits and his Muay Thai skills against Sensatan. Naturally, Ustalu is actually the bigger fighter here. Sensatan will actually is coming up in weight to fight Ustalu. So on that side of things, Ustalu does have a little bit of an advantage. But Sensatan is the taller fighter, and you can see when they come together. 183 centimeters tall. Ustalu, what, 177? Exactly. Sensatan also a fighter in his prime. You do get the feeling that if Ustalu is going to win any of those fights that he's had here at Thai Fight. The Sutsukorn one was really his opportunity. Sutsukorn, of course, a decorated and very successful Muay Thai fighter, but to be fair, he is on the... Coming down the mountain. <laughs> I was trying to think <laughs> of a nice way there. to say it. <laughs> it was like COVID got your tongue yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round one. He's going to try and impose himself early on in this fight. The way Sutsukon lost against a, a fighter by the name of Alexandra Boyser. It was a, a right great hand, fighter, yeah, by the way. Yeah, right hand down the pipe hole that dropped Sensatan. Needed a stretcher. Sensatan starting quick. Oh, Ustalu. Oh, oh, a little bit long. Wow. It's a big left hand missed and a big right hand. Unfortunately connected. Right to the midsection. I've never hand. heard anyone call it the midsection, but that kind of is what it is. Oh, beautiful. Really nice low kick. Yeah, an elbow previously to that. He used to lose quick though. And again, looking for that right hand. And again, sense of tired, just avoiding it. Usulu actually trains in very unusual up in high. Which is about a two or three hour drive away from uh, from Chiang Mai. That's Thailand. <laughs> Very unusual place to train Muay Thai. But it works for him. Well, he's taking a couple of big swings and misses. That's Good. uppercuts. Beautiful boxing there from Ustalu. Oh, and Sensatan gives it back. 
again, looking for those hooks and those uppercuts, but not finding the target that time. Nice jab, beautiful jab from center time. Hopefully, Uslu doesn't tire himself out. It always requires more energy to miss a strike than to land one. Center time with that beautifully timed elbow. Well, that's the thing, Uslu lost twice here at Tight Fight. Last time out against, against Sutsukorn, it was very close. He's probably thinking he doesn't want to leave it in the hands of the judges this time. Understandable. Trying to back up center time. Beautiful body shot there. Good low nice, kick though for the tight fighter. Oh, look at that. Right hand, right elbow from center time. Trains out of PK Sanchai Muay Thai gym, one of the most famous gyms here in Thailand. A gym that explains itself. Back to the center of the ring they go. Get Usulu looking for that hook, misses and gets clipped with another right elbow from Sensatan. Sensatan is showing a bit more respect to Usulu though. I think he respects and knows that he's got good technique. Look at those uppercuts. Good dirty boxing there from yeah, the Estonian. Really nice, really nice in the pocket. Oh, oh, beautiful hand there from Sensatan. A lot more aggression shown from the Thai fighter. The crowd are appreciating that as we end them. Oh, oh bit of backwards. Cheeky elbow after the bell. See, that had power. <laughs> that had a lot of power behind it as we end round one. Well, here you can see some of that nice, dirty boxing uppercuts. And then an, a left that came over the top here and connects with Sensatarm. That was probably the highlight of the round for Ustalu. Definitely wept <laughs> when he connected directly to the cup. But I do think Sensatarn comfortably wins that first round. Just cleaner striking, more accurate. There's a nice straight right. There's a nice short elbow as well. He also landed a couple of nice low kicks. It's a good opening round from Sensatarn. Good aggression from Ustalu, but needs to find the target a little bit more consistently. Yeah, since it does a great job of nullifying the attack by covering up well, then when he has countered, he's looked more dangerous. Nice jabs as well. Really impressed with Sensor Time's jab. Again, Ustalu moves in. Oh, good dunk. Beautiful technique there from the Thai fighter. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that Sensor Time's Loss was from a straight punch right down the middle because it's something that he actually does incredibly well is throw those Very straight true. punches down the middle. Swinging left hand there from Ustalu again. Center time looking to cover up and then come in with an elbow. Ustalu initiating the clinch here. There's that left jab again. He's so long with it. Oh, beautiful knees there from Sensatan. <laughs> and again, Ustalu covers up. Sensatan throws that counter knee. I feel like Ustalu's arms are just a little bit too short. You know what I'm saying? Well, especially with the way that Sensatan fights, keeps him on the outside with that, with that long jab. Something you just don't see very often in Muay Thai. Sensor Tart smells blood in the water right now. Uslu's moving backwards. He's clicked him a few times with some beautiful knees. Maybe he feels the time is now to try and finish the fight as he moves in with another shot arm elbow. Looking for that right knee and connects once again. Uslu in a bit of trouble right now. Deep breathing by the Estonian. Another elbow there. Ustalu breathing deeply, and not nice surprising game. with those knees coming in out of and another and elbow. elbow. He was halfway down that time. He's swinging, but they're not connected. But those knees are, and then another elbow. Yeah, Sensatan is just connecting with everything he's throwing right now. Sensatan in the groove, he's found that pattern. Drive the knees in, connect with the elbow. Drive the knees in, connect with the elbow. As soon as they separate, he pops that jab. 
He's hitting from all ranges right now. And doing a great job defensively as well. Putting it all together right here. There's the left knee, there's the elbow. Oh, stunning right knee there. Oh, oh, oh there's hurt. the elbow. He's tough, but I don't know how much punishment it can take. Those knees Another really elbow. wore him down. These elbows are gonna polish him off. He's putting on a clinic right now with Sensor Tan. Devastating knees. End of round two. All Sensor Tan here at Thai Fight, new normal. Sensational second round from Sensitarn. Here you can see everything he's throwing is working. Kicks to the body, elbows to the head, knees to the body, left jabs. It's a clinic right now from Dr. Sensitarn, and he's performing surgery on Ustalu. Who's lose desperate to make it to the end of the fight? But honestly, that second round, I thought the referee might have stepped in, just give Ustalu a breather by giving him a 10 second count or something, because it was all center time, and he took so much damage to the body from those knees. Yeah, he was in full survival mode by the end of that round. We'll see how much he's recovered between the bells. But right now, the momentum in this fight, overwhelming for center time. Good left and right hooks there from Oosterloo. Nice knees in the clinch as well. He's Definitely looks like he's recovered. If he's going down, he's going down swinging, no doubt about that. Beautiful outside kick. Good inside kick from the Estonian. Sensor Tan pushing him back. Looking for the elbow in the clinch, but nothing doing that time. Knee kick. Sensor Tan happened to get into the clinch because he knows he can do damage with those knees. We've seen it already. And elbows. Oh, good right hand there. Warning shot from Oosterloo. And an elbow as well. But that one hurt him. Sensor Tan fired that right elbow after he got clipped with one. Good knee there from Oosterloo. Solid left knee though from Sensor Tan. That That's hurt him. He's going down, this I think, is... Aaron. Oh, he is so tough. To Incredible. Stand his feet there. He's bloodied, he's battered, but he's still standing. That knee to the body really hurt him. You can see his arms come down to protect himself. He's bleeding from his face. His body is hurt. He refuses to go down. Has to be from one of those elbows. I missed it. Right now, Sensitarn looks like COVID. He just keeps coming. I'm gonna get the doctor to have a look at it. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be in his way. I don't know how deep it is, of course. Oh, he's calling it. Oh, wow. wow. Who's to lose shots? Disappointed. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that stoppage. I mean, look, who's to lose gonna lose this fight? He's From taking that? a lot of punishment, but he was tough, man. He was hanging in there, and that cut is on the side of his face. Doesn't really strike me as a terrible location to have a cut. Underneath the eye, on the side of the face. But you know what? I'm not a doctor. No, you sound like one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> okay, folks. We'll take this to our MCs for the decision. มันสะใจมากทั้งคู่นะครับผมโอ้ยยกมือให้ทั้งคู่เลยนะฮะทั้งลุกทั้งรับไม่ยอมกันเลยนะครับชนะก็อ่ะนี่เรามาประกาศผ
แรงความีด้วยนะครับกับผู้ชนะและกำลังใจกับผู้ที่พ่ายมาในวันนี้ประกบคู่ได้เยี่ยมเลยนะครับไม่มีการแบบ